Hey everybody, thank you so much for visiting us here with Cooking with G-Dubs and I'm your host, G-Dubs. What I'm gonna cook for you today is chicken parmesan. And I'm gonna make it from scratch and I'm gonna show you how to make the marinara sauce and also I'm gonna show you how to make the chicken parm, all right? So if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below. Tell a friend to tell a friend to check us out for a variety of, cook of uh, different recipes that I'm gonna show you. Caribbean, Italian, and Southern dishes. All right, so without further delay, let's get started. All right, without further delay, let me introduce you to the ingredients that I got here, all right? What I have for you is my it piece, and if you'd like to know what I have in it, please check out my uh, YouTube channel, and I have a video specifically on how to make that. And it has a variety of Italian parsley, cilantro, red peppers, onions, garlic, and a variety of other things that makes all your dishes delicious. And this is one of the most important parts of all of our dishes on Cooking with G-Dubs. All right, and then I also have here is some um, uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar. I have one can of crushed tomatoes, and this one here is with basil, and then this one here is diced tomatoes. All right, and I also have some Parmesan cheese, and I have some chicken thighs as well as chicken breasts. And I'm gonna show you how we go to prepare that in a second. And then I have four eggs. I have some um, organic flour right here, some flour. And then I have some breadcrumbs. And of course we have our salt. And then for our sauce, I'm gonna have some beautiful colorful bell peppers. And we have um, yellow, orange, and red bell peppers. And then I have some green bell peppers to add some more flavor to our dish. Then I have some chopped up red, um, white onions, not the red this time, I got some white onions here. And I got my Himalayan sea salt, all right? So let's get start prepping, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with doing my chicken. And as you know, my previous videos, you have to wash your chicken. And the way I wash my chicken is I wash my chicken with hot water and white vinegar. I put the vinegar first, and then I pour hot water on it, and then I massage it, rinse it out twice, and then we have our uh, chicken nice and prepared and clean, ready to go. All right, so what I have here is I have one chicken breast, and this is a skinless and boneless chicken breast, but it's kind of thick. So what I'm gonna do in order to make it really delicious is I'm going to slice it in half, all right? So this will also help you stretch it a little bit. So if you have a family like me, then you can be able to make it stretch. All right, here we go. These are two pieces of chicken breast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all of our chicken the same way. And what I'm gonna be working with, I have five pieces of chicken, chicken breast, then I'm gonna be slicing lengthwise in half. All right? So I'm gonna go ahead on and handle this and then I'll be right back. All right, now I have all of my chicken sl uh, sliced up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little mallet here, and I'm gonna beat it down a little bit. On one side, flip it over, and do the other side. And the whole purpose of this is that when I'm cooking the chicken, it won't swell up, because you know sometimes when you're cooking chicken, and when, as it's cooking, it swells up. So this is gonna prevent that from happening. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead on and beat my chicken up a little bit. Then after I do that, then we'll come back and do it, and then we'll start to season up our meat, okay? All right, so what I did was, as you saw before, uh, how big the pieces of uh, chicken breast was, right? So what I did was, we had the five pieces of thick chicken breast, I sliced it in half and it made it 10. Then what I did was I sliced them in half again. So that now we have this size pieces. All right, so then that way you can have a lot of pieces of chicken parm. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we'll take it, put it in our bowl, and then what we're going to do is now we're going to season it. So let me rinse my hand off real quick. Then we're going to take our ear piece 
we're going to pour it in. And then we're going to take our salt and add our salt, our Himalayan salt. And you can salt it to taste. Those of you who have a, 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 a restriction on the amount of salt that you can consume, do it at your, at your discretion as what works for you and your family, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I have my salt in there, and I put in probably about a, a half a tablespoon of salt, all right? And then as it's cooking, then we'll check to double check to make sure that it has enough se seasoning and all that kind of good stuff, all right? So this is phase one. So we're going to season it up, massage our uh, seasoning and all, all over our chicken breast and thighs. It just takes no time flat to do that. See, look at that. See, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to beat our eggs, add a little salt to it, and then we're going to dip it and get it ready for cooking. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so now I have my chickens seasoned up. He's, this is my eggs. What I'm going to do is I add a little bit of salt. Just a, just a little bit. And I'm going to using some garlic powder. This is add, just to add a little bit of flavor. Not too much. Plus a little bit of flavor to the eggs. Because as we layer everything, each, each layer that we put on our chicken gives it a different types of flavor. All right. So now what we're going to do is put this to the side. And instead of frying our chicken parm, we're going to bake it in the oven for about 45 minutes just so that um, we could keep the oil and grease down. All right. Because we don't need that in our diet. All right. So to make life a little bit easier, what we're going to do, we're going to take our chicken. We're going to put our chicken and our flour first, then we're going to dip it in our chicken. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to dip it in our eggs. That was a little chicken crazy now. Uh, and then we're going to put it in our breadcrumbs. So this is going to give us a really, really nice crust. All right. So remember, we take our chicken, put it in our flour first, then we dip it in the eggs. And then we dip it in our breadcrumbs. And this is what it's gonna, this is what it's gonna turn out like. All right, let me give you a better view here. So again, one more time, take our chicken, dip it in the flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, And we're done. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and we'll, we'll be back when we get ready to put it in the oven. All right. All right. So now I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees and this is what my chicken cutlets turned out to be. See what it looks like now in about 45 minutes, we're going to take it out and then you'll see what it looks like then. So while that's cooking, we're going to start making our sauce. All right. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take our oil. And when I'm using this time, I'm using grapeseed oil instead of olive oil. Either one will be fine. We we'll use our grapeseed oil. We're going to get our oil nice and hot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to saute our onions, our peppers, and then put our apis in there. And then we're going to put our tomato sauce. And then we're going to make a beautiful creation. All right. So while that's warming up, let me put some, uh, that's a handful of my onions. Then I'm going to take some of my peppers. So we can add a little color to it. And then we're going to add our green bell peppers. Because you know, you eat with your eyes. So when you look at it, look at those beautiful colors that came together. See? So we're going to let this cook real quick. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna get my tomatoes ready. And again, you see our crushed tomatoes with basil and our diced tomatoes. We're gonna take both of these, put it in, 
and then come up with something absolutely delicious. We'll be right back. All right, now look at that. This is looking absolutely stupendous. So our onions have caramelized a little bit, looking real good. So now we're ready to add our tomatoes. I'm going to put my uh, crushed tomatoes first. Then we put our other tomatoes. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you something that our sauce, the way it's going to turn out, is going to taste just like you get at the uh, Italian restaurants or one of the pizza restaurants that make uh, different kind of uh, pasta dishes. It's going to taste just like it. I promise you that because I've tried it all right, many, many times. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to put this on like a medium heat just so that it don't stop. It doesn't start snap crackling and popping on us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our ippies. And this right here is approximately three tablespoons. And if you want to know again what, what, what I have in it, check out my YouTube channel and I have a specific video on how to make it. All right. So we have that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add approximately one tablespoon of our salt. A tablespoon. And what we're going to do now is we're going to let our marinara sauce cook. We'll give it about a good 10 minutes. And then we're going to check it for taste. And then we'll add our brown sugar afterward. All right. So we'll be right back. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our brown sugar. Remember, just a tablespoon of our brown sugar. We're going to add it to our sauce. Stir it up really nicely. And now let's check the taste. There you go. Just like the Italian restaurant. It is delicious. All right. So now we go let this simmer. And we go let this simmer a little bit on the low until our chicken is ready. Let me take a peek at it real quick. It's coming along. It's almost ready. It's going to be nice and crispy. We got another uh, 20 minutes to go on that. And then We'll combine it, put our cheese on it, and then we'll have our chicken parm. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. Now my chicken is done, and look at how crispy it looks. Nice and delicious. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the chicken parmesan. All right? I have my pan, and the way we're going to do it, our sauce is ready also. We're going to take a little bit of the sauce and put it at the bottom. All right? So we're going to take it. Take some of our sauce and put it at the bottom of our pan. And then we smooth it out a little bit, as you see here. And then we take our chicken and then we place it inside. I'm using this size pan, but you at your home can use uh, as big or small as you would like. And then we spread it out nice and even. Put one more in here. I'll put right in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is, see here? And then I'm going to take the chicken, some more sauce, put it on the top. Oh, it's hot. Whew. Okay. 
And then what we're going to do is take our cheese. Now I have some grated mozzarella cheese here. And then we put it nice and generously on the top. Just like that. And that's it. And then what we'll do is we'll put this in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese is melted and then we're ready to serve. All right, we'll be right back when it's all done. All right, everybody, now check this out. See what it looks like? Chicken Parmesan with our own homemade marinara sauce. All right, so now let's dig in. And what I did is I made it with some rigatoni pasta on the side so we can make our dish complete all right so let me take a piece of this chicken oh it is very very tender everybody and get some of that cheese on there look at that that's what i'm talking about mm. Mm, mm, mm. let me taste some of this pasta with it Wow. This is absolutely delicious. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking me out here with Cooking with G-Dubs. For more videos, check out my YouTube channel and I have plenty of videos there of Caribbean, Italian, and Southern dishes. I really appreciate you checking me out, looking at how I cook this. I'm trying to make things very simple. Complicated dishes make it very simple so that you at home could be able to copy. And uh, don't forget, like and subscribe down below, cook it with G-Dubs, leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. If I need to improve, let me know. I appreciate, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, until the next video, peace.